So you've probably seen this number counter effect in a lot of videos, including potentially mine. It's really useful for making numbers more interesting and enables you to tell a story with them, going from one value to another. Well, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do this within After Effects. In this video, I'll go over all the basics, how to set it up, how to add commas to your numbers, changing how many decimal points you want, adding symbols or text before or after the counter, and both how to reach numbers over 1 million and how to create a preset that we can use over and over again to make this entire process effortless and easy. So first off, I'll show you how this effect works at a basic level and then also why we need to add more to it in order to truly customize it and get the most out of this effect. So you start by getting the text tool, typing any number you want, doesn't matter because the slide is gonna change it anyway. I pretty much always just start with zero, choose the font, the color, everything that I want and place it in the center of the frame. From there, I go and grab a slider control from the effects and presets panel, drag it onto that layer. And then I click on the layer options, go down to text and then alt click on the source text stopwatch. This will then bring up the expressions window. And from there, I can use this little pick whip icon, drag that onto the slider control and you'll see that it will paste an expression into that window, which basically allows us to control the value of this number using this slider control. Now this also means that I can keyframe this. So I can click the stopwatch on this control, adjust the value, move over time, adjust a new value, and you'll see that it will animate through. However, you'll also see that there is a lot of decimal places. There is no commas with the larger numbers. So it all just looks kind of terrible at the moment and we really need to improve this. So it's time to get to work. Start by creating a new text layer and typing any number you want. Again, go grab the slider control, drag it on and alt click on the source text stopwatch to bring up the expressions window. Now, instead of using the pick whip to drag up to the slider control, we're gonna paste in this code instead. Now, I wish I did come up with this code, but I'm not smart enough there. And all these guys laid the foundations for this. So I'm gonna have this in the description down below and basically just go grab that, copy it and paste it into your expressions window. And guess what? Nothing happens yet because we need to do one crucial thing, link this to the slider control. So go to the part at the top of the expression where it says value. Highlight this, but not the semicolon at the end, just the letters that spell out value. With that highlighted, we can now click on that pick whip icon and drag up to the slider control. That's gonna replace that value text with the slider control expression. And straight away, this expression will now give you those commas for numbers larger than 1000. So now automatically, this effect starts to look more realistic. Now with the beauty of the world, I learned something new recently that some cultures don't actually use these commas for larger numbers, they use full stops. So if that's you, you can actually still use full stops. You just need to go into the expression and look for the part where there's a comma surrounded by two double quotation marks. Simply change that comma to a full stop and now your numbers will be separated by full stops or periods. And you could change this to literally anything you want or even take it out completely. But now we have this, how do we control the decimal places? Well, at the end of the first part of the text in the first line, after the last bracket, type dot value, with value being entirely in lowercase, dot to, so two in lowercase, no dot this time, and then fixed. So fixed with a capital F, bracket, close bracket. Now, within that bracket, whatever number we type in is how many decimal points will be added to this number counter effect. So if I type in two, I'll have two decimal points. If I type in zero, I'll have none. Now there's one tiny limitation that's only gonna to apply to a few people. And that is if you wanna have four decimal points and still have those commas separating the larger number values. Because once you start going through over four, for some reason it starts adding the commas within that decimal points, which in real numbers doesn't exist. So if you wanna do that, you may have to figure out a workaround for this and have potentially two different counters, one for the whole numbers and one for the decimal points without any comma separators and just have the alignment. So you have one that is, I think, right aligned and one that is left aligned, butted up against each other and you'll be able to achieve that effect. But for most of us, we're not gonna run into that issue, so let's carry on. Now, there's also one other limitation that you may have depending on your needs, and that is if you wanna get numbers over 1 million. Because currently with the slider control, which I personally love to use, if we type 2.5 million into that, it's actually gonna revert back to 1 million. But there is another control that's very similar that we can use to get over 1 million, and that is the angle control. Again, in the effects and presets panel, you can just drag that onto your layer. And all we need to do is highlight that little first part of the code, 
use the pick whip icon and this time drag to the angle control. And now we'll be able to adjust using keyframes again, any number to over 1 million. Just make sure if you're adjusting any number values, let's say with a keyframe, you change this first part of the value to zero and then type in the exact number you want in the second part. So quickly, let's touch on the animation of these values. So we can create keyframes using the stopwatch icon on either the slider or angle control, whatever we have linked up with the expression. That also means that we have the option to ease in that animation. So if we select both those keyframes and press F9, that's going to ease in the animation. So it will start a little bit slower and then it will end a little bit slower. Now, because I'm often using this effect to tell a story, let's say I want the numbers to start really slow and then increase really rapidly. So I'm starting at 100 and it ends up at a million. I don't want it to jump from 100 to you know, 100,000 in one second, I want that process to be slow. Now, if we want that, just select that first keyframe and then click on this little graph icon. Then make sure we have the speed graph visible and you can select that by clicking this little drop down menu at the bottom of this window. From there, with the first keyframe selected, we'll have this little handle that we can drag out. Now, the further we drag this out and the flatter the first part of that graph is, the slower it's going to ease in and then it's gonna rapidly increase once that graph hits the inflection point. And so you can do the same to the end, depending on how you want this effect to look. But you can get really creative with the keyframe animation, add in multiple keyframes and tell your story with your numbers. But now we come to the important part in achieving realism with this effect. How do we add text before and after this counter? Well, actually it's really easy. We'll start by adding a symbol in front, like the dollar sign symbol. So go to that top line of the expression. Now before the text that says effect, type in a double quotation mark followed by another one, and then a plus symbol followed by a space. Now within that double quotation mark, whatever text you type in there, including spaces, will show up before the number counter. So if you wanna have a full sentence within there, you can put it in. Now, if we wanna do the same at the end of the counter, all we need to do is go to the end of that expression line, add a space, and then add the plus, followed by the two double quotation marks and whatever you want within that. So this time we just have to make sure that the plus is before those quotation marks. And from here, we can apply whatever effect we want. For example, in one of my latest videos, the monetization video, I added a grid effect and then a simple glow in order to achieve this sort of pixelated text effect. And the counter still works with all of this applied. But as an editor, we need to find ways to do this stuff quickly so we don't spend all our time doing this every time we want to use this effect. And I had the question to myself, can I turn this all into a preset? And good news is, yes, we can. And no, I'm not going to sell it to you. I'm going to show you how to do it right here. So the main thing you want to do is have a simple text layer going through all the steps we had before. You can have either the angle control or the slider control. Just pick one or the other. Honestly, probably better to go with the angle control. So you have that option to go over 1 million if you need it. Now with the expression typed out, having both the double quotation marks and the plus before and after, just leave them blank. And then while holding down shift, select the angle or slider control, whichever one you've used for the expression. Then while still holding down shift, select the source text and the text properties within the layer. Now with both of those selected, all we need to do is go up to animation and click save animation preset. Give it a descriptive name so you know what it is. And then once you click save, that's gonna end up in your effects and presets panel under your user presets. And this is how easy it is. When we wanna use this effect, we just, again, create a text layer, go into our user presets, drag that effect on, and the expression and the angle control will be applied straight to that text. So now we can go in, change the symbol, change the decimal points that we want. We can add keyframes to animate the values over time. And it's just that simple when we have that preset, which trust me is going to save you a ton of time. And I wish I did this way sooner. So if you found value from this tutorial, please consider giving it a like, comment down below. If you end up using it, I'll be sure to check out your video. And remember, you're only one video away.